Yeah, man. And keep beating, no say no. When a man got down, ring the bell, we go out to the hall. He said, meet me in the back of the hall, man. Uh. I'm like, yeah, nigga, I'm thinking, okay, nigga. I was taking up for the, uh, the homie, uh, off Hatchet Street, Rudy Ray. I was taking out for the little blood nigga, Rudy Ray, man, off Hatchet Block. And, uh, King B came to me and he said, yeah, man, when that went on. Uh, they rang the goddamn bell, come back there to the uh, back of the uh, run, man. So I know during camp time, when the nigga tell you to come to the back of the run, that's strictly to get your paper. Yeah. Yeah, you straight in there. You finna go back there, bitch. You finna have to fight. So I told him, nigga, I'll be back there, nigga. Shit, soon. No, I, the crib niggas done turned against me. Now the blood niggas trying to look at me. Cause I was taking up for a, a blood nigga. So I ran back there. And I never forget that, um, this nigga Beasley walked up to me. And he seen me on go. He said, nah, man, nah. <laughs> he, just, he ain't nothing that, man. He ain't nothing that, man. Chill with that. And I'm like, nigga, what's up? You hear me? Yeah. What's up? I came in, what's up, nigga, what's up? I mean, anybody back here, what's up, niggas? You know what I'm saying? And he said, man, go on, on, man. You know, he was so suave and so, goddamn, man, his swag was just different, man. Chill out, chill out, homie. Just chill, take some off, you hear me? He said, he said, nah, I don't need all y'all niggas around. And then I caught on to something when he told the other niggas I don't need them around the way he said it. He said, look out, niggas, I don't need all y'all niggas around me, man. Yeah. You just sitting there watching. Yeah, them niggas, them niggas see it. Got caught on to that. Only nigga stayed on the side was Drummer. <laughs> everybody know about my boy Drummer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, everybody on the Drummer. The only nigga still there was Drummer. Drummer wasn't going nowhere. Drummer, nigga, nigga Beasley walked no when, when he said, told all them blood niggas, I got this one. I don't need all y'all niggas around me. Yeah. All them blood niggas just walked away, man, real fast. So I never get this to say, man. He said, man, I like what you just did in the day room right then, man. He said, uh, he, he reached down to me, man. He whispered in my ear something, man. That um, I told him the other day. I never forget what he said to me. Yeah. He told me, said, um, I got some crip niggas. I'll do the same thing for that you just did a while ago, man. He said, I got some. He said, but ain't nobody never did what you just did. You know, that's against the rules. Stand up for the other side, man. You know, niggas don't go against the grain, man. He said, you the first nigga I ever seen go against the grain in this motherfucker. He said, you get how you smoke. I'm like, nah, nigga, I don't get home, do nothing. You don't smoke squares, no nothing, I don't do nothing, homie. Like right that, that's how I told him. He said, well, shit, here, man, take these anyway. You know, um, one thing about, you know, real niggas, you never turn down a gift. <laughs> you never turn down a gift, even if the other side is giving it to you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, man? Uh, he had me by like seven, by, by like seven squares and by like ten joints. You can sell those. I'm like, yeah, oh, yeah, I'm holding going straight to the market. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They going straight to me. I got paranoid. Shit, I thought I was being self security. Yeah, I thought yeah. I was being set up here. I'm already in here for possession of a control something with the intent to deliver a manufactured drug. Shit. I ain't, I ain't finna come in this bitch and kiss me or misdemeanor, goddamn me, but you know, it, it can be a misdemeanor in the world, but down here in the penitentiary, it's a felony. Yeah. Yeah, you catch you another strike out from here and don't go home for the rest of your life. Cause you ain't got caught up with a motherfucking um controlled substance down here on the on the state on the state facility. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah you asked me to do your time. Fuck that. See, I, I accepted the price. I accepted the present, man, but I gave the present away as soon as I got back inside the day room, man. Somebody do something with this. You know what I'm saying? Uh. I started watching King B. King B started watching me. King B was never, you know what I'm saying, a, a, a talkative nigga. He didn't never talk to the other side. He he see me every day and he shake his head. Like, that, that was our way of saying what's up to each other every day. Off yeah. the record. Never missed a day of saying what's up to the Beasley. He wing his eye at me like, you know what I'm saying? He on it today. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, and them blood niggas had they bitch. Shit. Now I see King B shit there yeah, now. Yeah. King B was in the middle. He had a little towel right there, goddamn. He'd sit on the King, you know, watch his gang, goddamn. And the beehive would be around him, nigga. The bees would be swarming. You hear me? Bees swarming every goddamn world. Yeah. But I'm like, this ain't, this nigga ain't never put in, I ain't never seen nothing, you know. Every time he got gangster, you know, you know, he, he be like, say, man, uh, every time he talked to him, he, he had this pretty boy face on, smiling all the goddamn stuff, say, man, uh, say, man, you know, she, it might, it might, it might get ugly in here in a minute, man. You know what I'm saying? Everything he said to me was with a smile. There was always something behind that smile. I said, yeah, man, say, it might, it might really get ugly in here in a minute, man. Yeah. Yeah, so y'all just, y'all might just want to know. He come back there and warn us. It's really get ugly. Niggas ain't, little niggas ain't even do shit. Shit.
boy, the first day that uh, Beasley made me out of believe. Shit. It was a nigga from West Texas. Shout out to Midley. Shout out to West Texas. Had one of them Stramblings. Stramblin' is a household name in West Texas. Y'all know some Stramblin'. It wasn't Farrah Stramblin', for all y'all that's concerned. Don't worry, it wasn't Farrah Stramblin'. That's my boy. Farrah Stramblin' the truth. Ran the ball for OU. Yeah, yeah, Oklahoma. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Big Farrah's, my baby, though. Uh, Farrah Stramblin'. Wasn't him, but it was a Stramblin' came there. And he was from Midland. I wanted to know, get to know him because he said he from Midland. And he was sitting on the crib bench. But come to find out, he wasn't no crib, so the rules over here is just crips only. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm gonna you know, talk to you later over there somewhere. So he was made to get up off the crib bench and he went over there and sit over there in the blood neighborhood. When it came time for the bloods to make him get up, he was like, man, fuck this shit, nigga. I ain't just finna keep getting up, nigga. Ain't nobody gonna tell me where to sit at, nigga. Says, so I'm gonna see where I want to sit at, nigga. I ain't finna get up no motherfucking mo. And King B was like, damn. <laughs> you know, that nigga get smiling and shit. Nigga, you better get word. See, when that nigga got there, get the laugh and the smile, like, yeah. He just like that nigga on training day when that nigga say, my man, my man, goddamn me. When that nigga reach out to you, say, my nigga. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay, you ain't getting up today, huh? Nah, I ain't getting up a motherfucking thing. <laughs> my nigga, goddamn, okay, okay, then. All right, you know what I'm saying? He say, man, that nigga walked out and did this right here, man. He, said, he came back, he said, say, look, I pray, man, it might be for the good ugly here in a minute. He was drinking on the coffee, I never forget. He was sitting in that coffee, looking at me. Said, yeah, sitting man. back like a general. Yeah, yeah, man. I, I wouldn't take nothing from King B. I wouldn't lift that nigga higher than what he is if I didn't see it for myself. I had to see it for myself. In the lines then, nigga, I had to see it for my. Well, everybody in this motherfucker gorillas. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody taking no shots. For you to ever be able to let niggas put their trust in you and you have to be the man or call shots on Ferguson, nigga. You, that's that's not no motherfucking overnight job, nigga. Niggas don't give a fuck about you. Bitch, who is you? Nigga, I ain't mind my mama in the world. Fuck you guys make you think you tell me what to do, nigga. That attitude. Shit, nigga. Uh, bitch, I'm in here motherfucking being hard-headed, nigga. How another man gonna tell me what to do? I'm a, I'm a man my motherfucking self, nigga. How a man gonna tell me what to do, how to groove? For you to hold that tight, because you got some nigga say, man, nigga can't make me do shit. And nigga ain't gonna make me do shit. But the game is to be respected for your hierarchy. Yeah. <laughs> Age played a long different. Um, but actions went a long way. Age played a difference. You know, that's school, you know, school, you gotta have this school, get an opinion. You know, but, you know, if you go in that motherfucker, you school niggas, get opinion. That means, you know, you just get something to say. Your say so might have a little weight on it. But actions, shit. That, that, I went in there, I knew that my age would get me somewhere. But I knew my actions would get me a longer way. You get what I'm saying? Uh, I can't act like these niggas, but... My actions better be just like these niggas if they get gangster. Uh, on Ferguson, I had to goddamn me peep. You know what I'm saying? The real from the, the, the well, I say I had to peep the, um. The bloods and the slobs. You know what I'm saying? I had to find, I had to peep the difference between the blood and the slob, nigga. You understand me? Uh, I always knew what side of the track I was on. Free the homie, Norris Street, Big Bo, man. Fenard Street Bow, man. Uh, I always gonna say to say that, huh? And, and, and in this jungle in Ferguson, nigga, if you don't peep them, nigga, you get ate alive in this motherfucker. They, they, they don't give a damn if you're a crip or not. But, um, Beasley was the man to watch. After King B did that for me, um, uh, a lot of more action went play. I sit back and when Beasley came out there and told me, man, uh, <laughs> might finna get a little ugly in her and, uh, I seen them, that nigga do a sign like this, say, go ahead. And them blood niggas took after that nigga, man. And they beat the brakes off that nigga. That nigga jumped up like he was fighting at first. That shit wore off fast. That shit wore off fast. You can't whip five or six niggas that with that pressure. Start curling. Yeah, he start curling. He curled so hard. I told B the other day here, yeah, that nigga curled so hard. I wanted to yell out the window and say, hey, y'all come get these niggas. Yeah. Off this nigga. They was banging. They was hurting him. It wasn't just beating him up, they was hurting him. 
It's the difference between get him out of here and ship him. You know, we call it the catch out. Niggas the catch out and the kite outs. You got catch outs and kite outs. You understand me? Uh. It's best to catch yourself out. Catch out, nigga. When you catch out, you get you can't go too far. You can just catch out for a couple of days. You know, some niggas catch out, they go to transit, find and get replaced to another block because he can count out. Uh. Ferguson had a a sweep one time. Ferguson had a major sweep. Ferguson. Ferguson. Ferguson man. unit had a, a sweep. You said. Ferguson had a major sweep where they decided they was gonna put away all the game members, all the top notch game members. Every nigga name that was on the food chart that was at the top, you know, because you know one thing about a unit, if you lose control of it, you out of them as 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 staff. The only way to maintain control of the unit, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta be in, you gotta be in cahoots with the niggas that's on the unit. You get what I'm saying? Once you feel like you done lost cahoots with the niggas on the unit, we'll say it's time to restore order in my way. You know what I'm saying? In, in, in a staff way, in, in, as a facility, we gonna run this shit like we, like it's a prison. And the only way to do that is get the head niggas out the way. And I never forget when it was time to do the. Head nigga sweep. The first nigga that came and got was King B. Beasley blood. He was the first one arrested. On the scene. I mean, they snuck. They, they did it so pretty, y'all. I mean, they, they came and got. Shout out to Blood Chad. Ha! Shout out to the homie Chad, man. H-Town Chad. Fire. Renegade blood. Renegade blood. People was asking, did you know any renegade blood? Renegade blood on Ferguson. I always on go. That's it. That's that's Chad. We throw that shoulder down. Yeah, what's up? Yeah, it's Chad. What's up? Ball head. Kept his head cut. Ball. Stay aggravated. Uh, Chad. I, I don't know if you gonna hear this or not, Chad. But them niggas gonna get word to you. I mentioned you, Chad. And shout out to my nigga Mo City again. He hit me up. The homie Mo City hit me up. Yeah, man. Yeah, uh. But Chad and Beasley was like this too. We had we had a nigga from Eastwood. It went by the name of Eastwood on Ferguson. They pulled a foul card over there. And it was time for the blood niggas to react to the foul card. And it was up to King B. Now I took up for an Eastwood blood nigga named Rudy Ray. But Eastwood. You know, you pulled a foul card. Yeah. Say, and when I know them blood niggas, you know, B's the King B was the on go nigga. Nothing, nothing went through nothing on Ferguson without King B as a blood. As a blood. Niggas might talk this shit. I don't know, I don't know no blood that was higher than the B. Uh -uh. Chad, they had good names, but I don't, I don't know. No, I, I know, I, I met some good ones. I met some good blood niggas over there, I ain't gonna lie. But uh, when none, when none of you niggas, and none of you niggas got stick King B, man. King B had the money. That's why he called me King. He had the money. Uh, uh. King B the count is uh, uh. Seven thousand and sell before. You hear me? <laughs> yeah. King B let niggas hold seventeen hundred. Had to put money up over it like they the bank, and niggas got scared to hold it. They didn't want to be responsible for that much money. Shit. <laughs> yeah. Can be paying for college and everything he got here for his kids. You hear me? Hmm. Buying school clothes, doing everything from the penitentiary. It don't look like he the nigga for nothing. But um, niggas can say what they is and say what they got, but until you see him in action, you, they ain't shit. I see him in action. When I see him in action, I knew he was ready. Yeah, he square bit. I like that. You can look just like that, be all that, and and and. and, and yeah, man. Say, you know, I do feel that. Yeah. Yeah, man. That's how that's how we play the part of it, <laughs> See, you got to know how to play the part. You know, you don't burn out your teeth out, knock down the scars all on your head. Look like a nigga been beating you up for, to be the nigga, man. Say, you supposed to say, person. That's how you tell play per, per, person. You no, know, keep keep it 100, man. This 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 is in my, this is in my, um, my motherfucking, um, in my boy voice, man. He, um. Now, everything was just, you no know, King B, this King B boys, King B was everything was say man, hey, hey, you, you don't got you don't got let niggas beat you up over here, man. Look, good teeth, I got all my teeth, nigga, I'm looking good, goddamn me, my hair faded. Come on man, say and, and beat the shit out of one of these niggas over here. 
I like, God damn, well, I'm gonna go get me a keep my shit faded, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it upgrades. This nigga always had on clean white clothes every day and shit. Like he's finna go to visitation. It ain't visitation day. God damn, King, what, what's this cage and shit? I'm just, I just feel like getting clean today. I feel like getting icy. Yeah, I feel I like see. getting icy today, God damn me, huh? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Nigga told me one day, he said, when I get out here, person said, let me tell you something, person. See, one thing people don't know, I was calling shots for the Crips. He was calling shots for the blood. And we had to play our part. But we played our part. Uh. Distance. Know what side you on. When it's time to know what side. See, see, that's the point. We couldn't get too much this. Because when it came down to knowing what side we was on, we would have to do this. You know what I'm saying? You know. We made it till we never had to do this, man. We made it till we never. We would get like this sometimes. We'd be right at the, at the goddamn tip, but it'll always come back together. You hear me? Right at the end. But it'll get there. It'll pull away, goddamn it. But then it always. We never got to where it would be terrible. Yeah. The coldest piece was, um. One of, um, King Beasley. Tales from a Crip. One of King Beasley partners. You no, know, he worked on. Um, he worked as a trustee, and I had my partner. One of my, he was King B partner, and everybody know who my road dog was, D Lo. My number one H, my my King, my my my, my pit bull on 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 the screen. Uh. My boy D Lo had popped his sale on one of King B partners one time. One of King B road dog. Now the one this King B guy right here was King B hard. It was one King B little partners. I mean, look, 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 especially niggas that he fuck with and don't fuck with him. You hear me? My little, my little dog got off the leash one day and broke his jaw. Caught him on the run and did it. Like, D, you did what to who? Yeah, man, I, I said, come on, D Lo. Why, wow, man? You know, D Lo was fucked up. D Lo was square business. Yeah. You know, D Lo had his reasons for doing what he said he did. Yeah. But, um,. You knew it was going to be some, some actions for it. Oh, it, 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 it. Yeah, Beasley wasn't going to let that ride. Yeah. Beasley, and then, you know, Beasley was so real with me as a real nigga. And I knew that the, um, shit, my little partner, the one thing about my little partner, when he come to me in his eyes, he be he'd be like, push me, talk to you. He looking around, he done done something wrong like a motherfucker. This nigga done done something fucked up. So when D-Lo run it down to me to play, uh, what happened in you know, he felt like the nigga did some fuck shit on him, so he popped the door, locked, waited for him, stalked him, waited for the dude to come to work. When see it was him, he didn't lock his door, and he came out on the run on him, in the middle of the night while the nigga was down there talking to one of the officers, and walked right in front of the officer and, and did it, and smoked. You know, we call smoking niggas guy, you get smoked over there. And he broke that man's jaw and fucked that man up. D-Lo was fired. But I knew by the time that hit the runway in the, the next day, we was gonna have to go to war. See, one thing I should tell D-Lo, nigga, we don't fight behind hoes over here. These hoes ain't none of ours, they work here. They go home every day, nigga. D-Lo will jack off on a hoe. A bitch look at D-Lo dick and he gonna swear that's his girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Don't look at her. Now you niggas better not talk to her nothing. Um, D-Lo, everybody jack off on this bitch. You can't make nobody see. But you better tell him that. Who jacking off on her? Who? So this nigga, hold on, man. You oh, never you told me about this about yeah, D-Lo. You told me about D-Lo in the closet and yeah, yeah, and yeah. stuff That's like how that. Bad he was. Oh, but yeah. he for the for the for the old for the old the yeah. people that been tuned in, man, okay, from okay. Tales from a Crib, the True Testaments. Yeah, we know. did the story on uh, D-Lo, and he was in the closet jacking off on the off right. on the uh, right. on the guard. Right, right. He had a so he was that fucked up if somebody else was yeah. jacking off on him. You know, he took a violation. Don't forgive me, violating him too. Yeah, for that. We had to run him down for by, for jacking. Yeah. Uh, D-Lo had out, but yeah, D-Lo would claim a bitch. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, you couldn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He swore this bitch, and she was a bad motherfucker. You don't, you know, one thing you can't do is be a bad motherfucker, you hear me? Yeah. You can't be a bad, oh, he's showing love. If she speaks to D-Lo, that's me. No, that's me. D-Lo, come on, D-Lo, that's not you, man. The lady just said, how you doing? The only thing she said is you having a nice day. Is your day okay? Oh, D-Lo, who put that? Mm-hmm. Then don't let her, don't let him jack and she look at that dick. Oh, she, she. 
That's me right there. That's me. And, and she don't say nothing. Yeah. And, he, and then he find out you jacking off on him. That nigga pray, that nigga will come and get you. You don't find out you jacking off on a bitch. No, and guess what? He won't do it. He know he he had to sneak and get you. You didn't know, you know say man, you know jacking, you know, he won't know jacking on my bitch. You know what I'm saying? You know jacking on my bitch, nigga. Man, like, nah, dude, what you talking about, nigga? You know what I'm talking about, nigga. You know jacking on my bitch, nigga. Huh? What's up? Come on, come on, let's fuck this, nigga. Let's get this right quick. Come on. You be like, come on, D-Lo, man, I'm about to fight over one motherfucker, bitch, 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 what you saying, you want to fight? Yeah, because you want to do no, man, D-Lo is crazy, D-Lo will fuck you up. And the sad thing about it, D-Lo can fight hard in the hoe. Yeah. And he was on go. And he stayed on go. And he stayed, man, I mean, it, it's not a motherfucker in the world ever that I seen him tough, being, great, fold, on, just, man, I'm talking, it, 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 it'll surprise you. How fast he would want to fight. And the motherfucker he talking to. Like, shit, D-Lo, you know, you gonna leave that man alone, man. Fuck that nigga. What's up, nigga? What you wanna do, nigga? Huh? What's up? What's up? Like, goddamn, D-Lo, chill, nigga. Nah, nigga, fuck out of it. What you wanna do, nigga? D-Lo, goddamn. What's wrong with it? I don't like the way nigga looking at me, nigga. You looking at me like that, nigga. Alright, man, man, just turn that way, man. Goddamn, little D-Lo. God, cuz, you can't do this shit, dude. Yeah. Motherfucking day, nigga. I cannot afford to just. Mind your little Cali. Yeah. Now, little Cali was okay. Yeah. D-Lo was way more fucked up. <laughs> yeah. Cali. Little Cali was all right. Yeah. D-Lo, out of control. Out of control. But back to the story at hand, man. Uh, I got a note. I got a kite that night, man. The word that hit King Beasley that my little partner D-Lo fucked off one of his little partners. And when I got the kite, Shit. You know, I had to respect it. Because, damn, D Lo. I, I mean, I mean, that's my partner. That's my eight. Me and D Lo been riding that there in three years together. I'm talking about, man, no, no flaws, no nothing. Niggas been trying to take me and D Lo out, pop me and D Lo. Uh, but in the case, he said, King B said, Nick gotta go. Well, I could have been like, ah, oh, nigga, hell no, nigga. Hell no, nah, you can play that. You know, I didn't, I didn't buck, I didn't buck Beasley's system because I knew it wasn't no win in this situation. I knew, oh, oh, it was gonna get gangster. Oh yeah, oh yeah. But the thing was, was it worth it? Cause this nigga was hating over another bitch or a bitch. I know this ain't over these females. I know we not finna go to walk with these niggas and got into it over some holes over here. But the principal had went too far. D-Lo had already violated. He had already violated. Right. Yeah, you don't do that behind no female on this unit. Yeah. He done broke this man fucking jaw. Hey. So you know what them blood niggas gonna do? <laughs> hey, bro, I'm talking about, I can't leave you alone for one minute after this, D-Lo. I mean, you gonna have to... Shit. And then, shit, you know, if you get real out of place, you know, once, like I said, once that money on your head, once that bag on your head, man. You don't know who, who you know after. Me, you know how many broke niggas in the penitentiary? Shh. Yeah, you don't know, know a hundred. You know a ten dollar five. Come on, man. You know a five dollar sound like? Better yet, a hundred? Yeah. You know it's a hundred sound like a, a, a G. A, a, <laughs> come on, man. You know what a nigga do with a hundred dollars in jail? Cash money, currency? As they call it, currency? Yeah. Woo! You know how I many niggas looking for you in that hallway? Nothing but niggas in the chat hall looking for that nigga. Cause you know, the thing is the first one get him get the money. Mmm. Say everybody, they say, scrapping man, you, over it. Say you whoop that nigga, get locked up and go to the lock up, the money gonna meet you back there. You gonna get your money. You gonna get the same nigga. <laughs> Cause you're not gonna make it through the rest of the day. I already knew this dealer, you gotta go. So I went to my own partner. You know what I'm saying, me and told him. And this this off the record. The only person know this story is me and King B. Believe me, he'll tell you the same story when you see him. You catch up to the king, but he's gonna tell you the same story. Uh, on the strength of me and King B relationship from when I first got there. Yeah. On the strength of the respect that I had for him and the respect he's been having for me. Uh, I can't let another crip nigga get me out of line with real shit. Suge told me before he left, this the easy part. Told y'all. Getting along was a hard part. Now it's time for me to exercise that. You know what I'm saying, I me? Mean? 
We can get to the easy part because the longer you stay here, we're going to have to do this with these niggas every day. King B ain't going to run out of money. <laughs> and don't let him up the stakes. Don't let him up the price. Niggas come through and stab the dog shit out of you. Niggas gonna blow your hole in you something, nigga. They gonna go get them chopsticks. Yeah. Yeah, they gonna get them chopsticks, nigga. As soon as you goddamn me, uh, the money sound she they don't care what you think they in her for. They already got capital murder. We ain't, I'm not never going home. See, I need that money. My family stopped writing me uh, centuries ago, decades ago. Yeah, I've been this motherfucker 20, 30 years. How much you giving away? What? hundred dollars Where the nigga at? <laughs> hundred dollars. Don't sound like much out here for a life, but in there it ain't, it's, it's, you, you're worth it. Yeah. You're worth it. <laughs> yeah, and it's sad, but it's true. Yeah. Shout out to Chad, man. One of the hardest blood fighting blood niggas in there. Chad didn't turn down nothing, and he fought everything. Chad wasn't turning down nothing, but his motherfucking collar. He was on fight, he was on go. Me and Chad never bumped head. Went on. Um, but we always looked at each other like, we already know one day it's coming. I always, I always knew that I would end up fighting one of the top-notch blood niggas. I just never knew who it was. You understand me? And uh, my thing was to keep peace, man. Right. My thing was to keep my my soldiers safe. My thing, no, no, not to be a mark, but niggas I already knew person with zero tolerance. So therefore, to answer your question, Dom, when I always say, um, uh, why I get into it with more crimp than I did blood? Because I, um, uh, I stayed in my lane. Right. My lane won the game, bang. My lane was to keep the things right, keep shit sane, not insane. My 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 job, I, they wouldn't use they wouldn't use you for a shot collar crib, nigga. If you was a crash dummy crib. Yeah. You know, uh, if, if everything you knew was to solve with this and and, and, and hurry up and stick a nigga and he hot headed, we got plenty of them, and then anybody can be a shot collar. That's the case. You gotta know how to move and groove and think. You don't know how to think. You are gonna lose you and your soldiers. You're gonna lose you and your soul. All your little all your little pieces on the chest bone, all your little pawns gonna get took. And you're gonna be laying out there in the open with no help and nobody to protect you. And they're gonna and they're gonna ride down on you. One thing I can say about uh being locked up, the majority wins. Right. <laughs> and uh the Mexicans got that bad. The, the Mexicans, Mexicans, Tango, you know, uh, Mexicans, they got it bad. Uh this is gonna sound sad and ain't gonna sound real, but this is the truest statement I can make. Every time the Mexicans seen that they outnumbered the blacks, they were jumping. Yes, sir. Every time the Mexicans outnumbered the blacks and they knew it, they would jump the black. Every, every time. Every time. To show them who in control, say who was running things. Right. On the coup. Yeah, they would do that. Start a ride. The mini ride. Then they come back and be a big ride. Yeah, 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 yeah. Most definitely. If if it's enough niggas to, to handle the ride, you understand me? In the Mexican, I'm telling you, man. Um, fuck with y'all saying it's more Mexican than niggas in the penitentiary. It used to be more blacks back then. It's more Mexicans now. There's a lot more people don't know where the fuck they in. Yeah. They got shit from the border. Picked up trying to come across the goddamn border, ended up in the Texas penitentiary. Just think about that. Every border is connected to Texas. I mean, you know how many motherfuckers in the system? Motherfuckers giving niggas 30 and, and giving them license, they just they just trade them out to the system. Yeah. Just trade, yeah. SA, no Spanish, no English, no Espanol. Yeah, uh, get it 40 years. If I ain't got a family car, then they finish doing their time, you know, making money for the state. They try to send them back. Send them back, goddamn me, uh. To their people. 